Welcome to spring. It's Johnny Battle here, and I'm getting the teardrop trailer ready for the spring season. So let me show you what I'm doing here. I am going to uh, grease the, the zerks on the, um, the axle here on the teardrop trailer. And I actually have taken the wheel off already on the teardrop trailer. And this is not something you have to do, but I did it because I had to replace the tire anyways for other reasons, but what I wanted to show you here is that where's the proper place to, to jack up your, your trailer? Well, you have this axle that runs across the trailer, as you can see there, and, uh, I, and I called Vistabule just to ask them to, uh, to make sure I was gonna jack up the trailer in the right spot, and I just got as far as I could towards the um, towards where the wheel mounts onto the axle and jacked it up right there. You can see there's a little rag hanging down there. Uh, for those of you that have been watching some of my videos, you know I'm pretty particular, so I know this sounds crazy, but I don't want the jack to scratch the axle. Uh, who else would do that? Probably nobody, but it makes me sleep like a baby at night. Um, you don't want to jack it up towards the middle of the axle because you could actually bend it with all that weight there. So get it on the end and, and jack it up there. And so again, I took the, the entire wheel and rim off. You don't have to do that because generally what's on there is this cap like this. And on this cap here is a top that pops right off. And you can see in there how it pops right off. And you can access this grease zerk uh, from opening this cap right here. So uh, you don't have to take off the wheel and the rim to grease your Zerks. I'm gonna show you how I, uh, I'm gonna grease this side without taking off the wheel. I'm just gonna pop off this cover. And so I use a little paper towel and a, a butter knife to, to pop this open. You don't wanna, you don't wanna scratch this. So um, go get a butter knife in the kitchen and, and wrap it in a paper towel but don't tell your wife that you're using this to work on the trailer. Just say you're, you're gonna make a peanut butter and jelly out in, the, out in the garage. Otherwise, if you're like me, you're gonna get in all kinds of trouble. If your wife is Brazilian, she'll, she'll yell at you. Maybe if she's not Brazilian, she'll yell at you also. Again, just like the other side, I pull off this rubber gasket and you can see this is a piece of cake because now is the the, the grease zerk, the nipple, whatever you want to call it, and um, you can start going to town and squeezing it in here. And again, as with the other side, I feel like I had to put a lot of grease in there for it to just start squirting out of the sides, but you know it's full when it starts squirting out of the sides, so just keep squirting away. It's gonna show you when it's full, and you'll know at that time that it's full, so. Um, Looks like uh, I'm full there. Just to have a hard time popping this sucker off. And I'll, put, I'll clean this up, put this back on, and then this side is done so you can see how much faster that is. Really no excuse not to go ahead and quickly grease your Zerks at the beginning of the season. So this is how you do the side easily with just pulling off this cap. Hope that's helpful. So let me show you what we're gonna do here. I'm gonna go ahead and start to take this rubber bushing out. But before I do that, if you do wanna take off your tire and wheel, I recommend getting one of these breaker bars here. And then this is a deep wall socket. It's a, a three quarter inch. So a three quarter inch deep wall socket fits the lug nuts that go onto the trailer almost perfectly and that, that works well. I just keep this in the trailer at all times in case I get a flat, I, I'm ready to go. So you can see here, this greaser has this kind of rubber bushing on here. This is the, this is called the Dexter Easy, Easy Lube area. And this is a Dexter axle and Dexter makes it really nice to, uh, to grease these zerks. So if you take a screwdriver in here and, and get in there, you could kind of just pop off this, this rubber gasket right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and just set that up down for now. And then I have my grease gun. I'm just using some high temperature grease here. 
I think there's many different types of varieties of grease you could use. This particular stuff is high temperature grease, heavy duty, uh, made by WD-40, but there's a lot of different varieties of grease you can use. So you go ahead and take uh, your grease gun and let me grab a paper towel, clean the edge of this grease gun off here. And you just stick it on this grease circle, there's nipple. <laughs> nipple. I like nipple. I like to say the word nipple when you're working on the trailer. But you just take this grease zerk and put it on the nipple here and it locks into place. You'll hear it click. And you can start pumping away and you'll see some grease ooze out when it's full. So I'm gonna go ahead and just keep keep pumping. I don't, don't see anything oozing out at all yet. So we'll just keep pumping this thing full here. Grease is going in there. They say you should grease these. I think Dexter says every 10,000 miles. Um, this truck, this trailer is one year old for me, and I, I definitely do not have 10,000 miles on this trailer. But um, I like to grease the Zerks once, once a year, and uh, I just do it in the springtime, getting ready for the season. And so I'm still pumping some grease in here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn this around as I do that to get that grease to move around in there. And I feel like it's taken a lot of grease for some, oh, but here it is. If you look in here now, let me get this really close. If you look, if you can see right in there, right on the edge, right in there, it's real hard to see. You can see where the grease started to come out a little bit. And so that says that it is completely full, which is a good sign, so. That, that thing is full of grease. I had to put several squirts in there. But now I'm gonna go ahead and clean off this zerk. Or if you're like me and you prefer to call it a nipple, whatever you wanna call it, just clean it off there. And uh, I'm gonna just rotate this around a few times. Work that grease in there. And we're, we're fully packed there. And it looks like I did a good job. So I'm gonna take this rubber gasket and actually put this rubber gasket back on here to cover up this grease zerk. So we'll go ahead and pop that into place here. And you can take your fingers and just pop it into place here. Eventually it takes a little bit, but Get it in there, and voila, it's back in there. I feel like this was making a little bit of a noise when I took it off, so I'm really glad I packed it. And again, I, I like to do them once a year, just to keep everything fresh and lubed up. I mean, if you think how many times that goes around, even on your car, it's amazing. Again, you do not have to take the wheel off to do this. Uh, you have a little, um, cover here that goes right here where you can just pop this off with a screwdriver or a butter knife or something like that and you can actually get access to that grease zerk or the nipple through there. So you do not have to take off the wheel. I just took off the wheel in this situation because I wanted to, um, I, I, oh I didn't want to, I actually needed to put a new tire on the trailer for other reasons. So let's go ahead and mount the tire back on. This is my brand new tire. For those of you that are interested, the reason why I'm, I put a new tire on is that uh, the whole 
Hold on, I need to jack this up a little bit. Jack it up just a little more. The jack sunk on me while I took it to the shop. Okay, don't make the mistake I just did. I forgot to put this cap back on first. So it goes on first here. And while I have the cap off, I'm going to back up a second and uh, take a little towel and just clean it up a little bit while I'm here just to dust it off. Why not shine it up while I can? Get all the dirt off of it. Okay, put the cap back on first. Then, we can throw the tire and wheel back on. Start to screw on our lug nuts now and mount the rim back on. And that's all you have to do. Also, another reason why I wanted to take the tire off, not only because I'm replacing a tire, but I wanted to see how easy or difficult it was to take off the tire if I had to put on a spare tire real quickly. And it's pretty easy to do. Again, I showed you where you need to put the jack to jack it up. And I wanted to make sure I knew the proper place to jack it up in case I ran into trouble on the road and, and had that all done. So this is nice to do in your own garage when you're at home and in your own situation to kind of, kind of just see what it's like in your garage versus being out on the road. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Take my, my wrench and tighten these back up. Now, other than that, the only thing I need to do to get ready for spring is I'm gonna flush my, my tank and uh, just rinse, rinse out my water tank. I know there's a lot of you or, that do other things to clean your water tank. I'd be interested in what you do. Um, if you have a good way to sanitize or clean out your water tank as, as it's been sitting over the, the winter, uh, please leave a comment in the notes. Uh, I know some people I've heard put Clorox in the tank and other things and I don't know, I'm just not gonna put Clorox in my tank and then try to flush it out and drink it. I'm just not gonna do that. But if anybody has a, another way that is maybe a little more organic or a little more less chemical oriented, I'd be be really interested in hearing that, so please leave that in the comments below. I'd greatly appreciate it. But yeah, other than greasing the Zerks or the nipple, um, I need to flush my water tank, and that's about it. This trailer is, is super simple, and I'll go ahead and, and set these down, and I'll tighten these up in just a bit uh, to make sure they're super tight before I hit the road. But I'm excited to uh, get on the road this year, and get our trailer out to, to start using it. By the way, the Subaru I have, the Subaru Crosstrek, was rear-ended a couple of weeks ago. Just messed up the car, so the Subaru's in the shop and hopefully it gets out in about two or three or four weeks even, and hopefully it comes out soon so we can pull this baby and get it out on the road. I am itching to go camping like most of you guys and uh, most of you teardrop lovers are ready to get out there. So far, after a year of having this, uh, my wife and I have just been, been ecstatic. It's been great. Uh, a lot of people have came and visited us because uh, if someone's in Colorado, people give me a call and say, John, someone wants to see the trailer. And I, say, I usually say, come on by. I'm happy to show it. So we've showed it to a lot of people. And by accident, I've encouraged several people to purchase a vestibule, but hopefully they did that on their own, own thought, thought process. But so far the thing's been simple and easy to use, so one year down, 
Super excited about it and another year of camping to go. So um, thanks for watching today. I hope uh, that helps you. I hope it motivates you also to, uh, to get in there and, and grease your, your Dexter axle on your trailer. It's real simple. Just do it once a year. Better safe than sorry. Until next time, this is Johnny Battle. See ya.